welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bridget. The man behind the camera is the beard. The beard. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing a what's for dinner segment. So tonight we're having chicken parmesan, mashed potatoes, and green beans. The mashed potatoes and green beans are already on the stove, but I wanted to show you how I make the chicken parmesan. So I have this breaded chicken patties, and I'm going to lay them out. I can't find my bigger thingies, so that's why I got two of those. Is it up here? Oh, well, there's that. Hold that thought, y'all. I got one of that. So apparently, things got moved around on me. So I'm just gonna make this whole thing, because I'm tired of it being in my freezer, and I didn't want chicken sandwiches. This is what I'm doing. I'm just gonna lay them. It'll be okay. And I'm gonna take some regular spaghetti sauce. You can use marinara sauce, pasta sauce, whatever you have. Why is it not opening? Yeah. And your fork. You trust me with a knife? No, I thought about that after I handed it to you. <laughs> Apparently it didn't open all the way, that's good enough. And then I'm just gonna cover the chicken. Don't make a mess like I did. I might need another can. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use two cans. Hopefully don't make a big mess like I did. Do you have another can? Yes. <laughs> well, never mind. Okay, so there's one can. And then two cans, and this is just traditional spaghetti sauce. Like I said, you can use marinara or whatever you want. Where did you even get that from? Somewhere. Probably the store. <laughs> you just want to cover all of your chicken. This is something different. We haven't had this in a really long time, so I thought it would be good. Then I'm going to put some Parmesan cheese on top. And some mozzarella. And then I'm going to bake it in the oven. Preheated 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. And then we have chicken parmesan. I get tired of the same thing, so I wanted something different. Lots of cheese. You've been changing it up a lot lately. I like it. I know. So, I will see you guys when this is done, and I'll show you what dinner looks like. Okay y'all, so this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. I just pulled it out of the oven. I got my chicken parmesan, and my green beans, and my mashed potatoes. So I'm gonna put it on a plate, and I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like. So just some mashed potatoes, so. green beans. This is my watch for dinner, dinner number one. I will see you when I do dinner number two. Hey y'all, welcome back. We are going to do dinner number two. It's going to be simple because I'm tired and I don't really feel like cooking a lot. So I have a baking sheet with some foil, some kielbasa sausage, some potatoes, and some onion. And it's going to be a sheet pan dinner. So basically all you do is get your pan, you line it with foil, you spray the foil. And you preheat your oven to 400 degrees while you're doing this. And then, I've already done the prep work, so this video wasn't like 5,000, you know, minutes long. 
But the beard cut the potatoes for me. So thank you, beard. Mm -hmm. And you're just going to take your taters and line them up. There are a lot of variations that you can do to this dish. It's whatever you want. I've done it with um, chicken, like boneless, skinless chicken. And I just seasoned the chicken. And I put potatoes and broccoli or potatoes and green beans one time. It's really whatever you want to do. And this is like four very large potatoes. Like extremely large potatoes, you guys. One, three? Yeah, three. Actually, yeah, about three. So then you just line those up. And then you put your, your sausage in the middle. You can use turkey, salt, whatever you want to use. Just throw all that on there. And then your onion. That's the beard cut up. And just kind of throw it on there too. And then just kind of even things out. <laughs> but so that that's all you really want to do. And then you want to put some spices on it. This is adobo. garlic and pepper seasoning. You can use whatever spices you want. These are just the spices that I'm using. Onion powder. And some fresh cracked black pepper. I'm not using a whole, whole lot of salt because the beard does have high blood pressure, you guys, so. We also have Mrs. Dash Salt Free that we can use. But so that's all the spices that I'm using. And then some extra virgin olive oil. I'm just going to lightly, lightly pour over it. Well, kind of, lightly. Honestly, I'll pop. should I mix that around? Mm -mm. No? Okay. So here's this, and then you're going to put it in your preheated, well, it's not preheated yet, 400 degree oven for about an hour, and then there's dinner. And then have it with the side, like maybe broccoli or something like that. Yeah. I'm just yeah. going to put it in. It's almost preheated. Okay. So we're going to put it in the oven. Bottom. Yep. And for about an hour, and I will see you guys when it's done and show you what it looks like. Okay, y'all, so this is what it looks like. It's come out of the oven, it's cooled some, so 400 degrees for about 45 minutes. Potatoes, onions, kielbasa with the spices that I showed, and that's all you gotta do. You can serve this with side, you can serve it with broccoli. There's a lot of different variations. This is just what I had on hand tonight, so that's what I wanted to serve. So let's see, is it monster approved? Here, you want to try one? Yeah. See if it's monster approved. Good? Yeah. Yeah? Do you give it a thumbs up? You like it? Yeah. Give it a thumbs up. Thumb. Thumbs up. <laughs> Tell the people it's good. Is, is it good? yummy? Good. So that's dinner number two, you guys. I will be back for another dinner. So we're going to go eat now because I am hungry and it's been a long day. So I'll see you for my next creation. Okay, so for the third meal and the last meal that I'm making in this video, I'm going to be doing chili. So this is how it is. I have a pot right here. And then I have a pound of hamburger meat that has been sitting in my fridge for a little bit too long. More commonly known as ground beef. Well, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm going to be adding in some black beans and some dark red kidney beans. I've already drained them and rinsed them into my pot. Some corn that the beard's already drained for me. Some hot chili beans. I didn't drain those or rinse those. Because you would have rinsed away all the yumminess. 
This is a super simple meal. You can make it any way you want. And then some tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. Maybe. There, don't need a fork. We have an incoming child. You wanted to say hi, Daddy. Oh. Okay, now you can even make this like a meatless chili. You don't have to, you know. Mm, goodness. You don't have to make it with hamburger meat. You can make it. You can even make this with a uh, turkey. For help you out. But I'm just putting in a wild or venison. Water. Yeah, or venison. Or wild boar. Yeah. Or. So, in my hamburger meat, I'm going to be adding in a red onion. Because we were out of other onions. We were going to do yellow onions, but we had a red onion, so that's what we're using as a red onion. I'm going to be putting in some chili powder. Now, I put it in with my meat, and I put it in my, my mixture. Some onion powder. And I'm not measuring, I'd say maybe a teaspoon of each. But you can add more or less, really just depends on you. Some brown cumin. You gotta show them the English side. I did. Oh, okay. Good enough. And then the non-English side. For those that don't speak English, we gotta be all inclusive here. Okay. I can't pronounce that, so you just have to read it. Some black pepper. Then you can make this really spicy, you can make it not spicy, however you want to do it. And then once we're done, we're just going to serve it with crackers, sour cream, and cheese. But you can put used tortilla chips, whatever, it's really up to you. Oh, and adobo, because this is one of our favorite spices that we use. And adobo. Like That's I the said, most important thing. What? The garlic. Oh yeah, and the garlic. See, minced garlic. We don't have fresh garlic, and we use this quite a bit. I'm just gonna do two big peeps. What about in the chili? Do you want me to put some in the chili? Oh, do I love garlic? <sighs> okay, and some in the chili. You need me a spoonful to eat. Beard is a little weird. Oh, it's amazing. And then you just let your hamburger meat cook. And then this is going to be coming up to a bowl while your hamburger meat's cooking. After your hamburger meat cooks, you just drain it, you add it all in, and you're ready to eat. Super easy, super simple dish. We're going to cook the meat and then come back and show them? Yep. Okay. So we'll be back in a minute. Okay, y'all. So I'm going to show you how I drain the hamburger meat and uh, onions with the monster on my tail. So I move, baby. I don't want you to get burnt. So I just do this, and all of that grease and stuff goes into the, um, the bowl. And so that way it doesn't clog up my drains or anything. It just goes down to the bowl. So that's just a little tip for you. Now I'm going to put it into my other stuff. After I drain a little bit. Move, monster. You do we need you, Nanny? It's feeding time at the zoo, y'all. Can't you tell? Animals, children, everything. And then that's really all you do to make chili. Now you can serve this with cornbread, cornbread muffins, crackers, whatever you want to serve it with. Rice. This is just your rice. This is just how we make it. You don't have to make it this way. This is how we make it. So I'm going to serve this with sour cream. And I didn't have any saltine crackers, so I'm going to use chicken crackers. But it's okay. We'll see how it goes. It's still going to, the kids will still eat it. 
You have to go through the box. Pack. You use what you got. But I hope that you enjoyed this. I will leave recipes down below, base recipes. Um, these are up for interpretation. Make them to your family's liking. This is just what we do. And I just have this on, you know, low heat while I'm turning it off. And comment below if you want to learn how to make a pecan pie. We've already done a pecan pie on this channel. Oh, well, then, uh, uh. Comment down below and let me know what you guys would like us to make next. Yeah, yeah, everybody's better. We did a pecan pie already? Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta go back and watch that video. I should probably link it for him. Okay, I will link the pecan pie video. I'm pretty sure we made it. Yes, we did make a pecan pie. Yes, because Monster helped me make it. Ah, okay. So I will link that down below for you guys, but this is what it looks like. And then we're just going to top it with sour cream and some cheese. Yummy. And the boys are talking about Enderman in Minecraft, and I don't know. <laughs> so, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Leave it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.